Some of you might be having an existential crisis trying to figure out which trading platform to use. And my goal in this video is to share my thoughts, my experience, and my personal opinion, the likes and dislikes and the shining things and the not so shiny things that should be shined up so they're gonna be even better for these three platforms, three commas, Pinex, and all trading. Hey guys, it's me, Munir Papa. I have courses on thebettertraders.com where I can teach anyone how to become a better trader. Trust me when I say that there are tons of other platforms that could be on this list in this video, but I've researched, I think about 15 of them. And out of those 15, these three are the only ones really worth talking about. For all of you that have been with me on this journey here on YouTube or on Discord, or you've even taken our courses, you know, that I primarily have taught how to use the three commas platform. So it only makes sense to start with that one first. So before I go over to the screen, I just want to give a couple of brief shining gems that three commas has to offer. Now I understand a lot of you are going to be really angry with what I'm saying right now because of the API security hack that happened uh, back in November or really basically quarter three and quarter four of 2022. I'm not trying to gloss over what's happened, but given the security improvements that three commas has implemented with IP, um, IP whitelisting and also the new fast connect feature that they can update the update and also strengthen the API connection between the exchange and three commas. I feel like they can be on this list. They can be used again, which is why I'm also talking about them in this video. I'm including them in the list. Try to get that event out of your mind just so you can hear my opinion of why I still think three commas is worth at least considering using. And here's why. The things that I like most about three commas off the top of my head, like these are the three things when I think three commas, I think smart trade, I think DCA bots, mainly because their ease of use. Um, I know not everybody's used to using three commas and that's totally fine. And maybe you're really confused by it. But for me, since I've been using it for such a long time and I've taught thousands of people how to use it, I understand the workflow and it's just become native to me. I just understand how to build an order. Now, I'm not saying it's the best smart trade tool out there, but it's what I think of when I think of three commas. But what three commas does really well are their advanced DCA bots. They're actually one of the best bots in the business, in my opinion, especially with the all of, I rather all of the custom trading view signals, the rather the JSON commands that you can trigger and send off on three commas. Those are fantastic and they help a lot. If you want to create a really amazing and robust and complex trading system that's completely automated using TradingView webhooks or even webhooks that could be triggered off of something like make.com or Zapier or anywhere else. It's pretty amazing. So three commas definitely wins for best DCA bot. And that's something that I love and I use a lot. And I really like what they have to offer. So let me just show you what I'm talking about real quick on the screen with three commas. All right, let's go over here to three commas. The main thing that I like about trading on three commas, especially the active side, is being able to just scan through trading pairs that I like, favorite those markets, filter it by the market that I'm looking at right now. So if I switch to USDT, then I can only show USDT pairs. It's kind of nice. Or I could just click here and it brings me right to the chart for gas BTC if I want to look there. Um, similar to other trading platforms, if I go ahead and I do something on this, it's going to save it on this chart. So even if I go over here to Strax to check out what's happening, and then after it's done loading, I go back to gas, I should see that same line there. It's going to save it, which is great. So I can still chart over here in three commas. So down here, this is really the part that I like the most with three commas. It's being able to place my orders in this linear fashion, which makes it really great. So all I have to do is basically use the chart here to determine where do I want to buy? How much do I want to buy based on a percentage of my account or a fixed number? And then I can set my take profit targets. I could set up to eight of these and I can even add trailing to the last one, uh, which is unique to three commas. Although this feature is coming to all trading, they told me. And then of course I can set stop loss and again, the thing I like the most about stop loss is having this option here for move to break even. So in order for this to happen, I have to have more than two of these take profit targets. So once I got that, then I can enable move to break even. So when my first take profit target is reached and here's my buy order, then stop loss is automatically brought up to my buy order. So that way, if the price does go up to take profit and it comes right back down, 
I'm actually gonna break even or actually make a little bit more on that trade because I sold so much at this price that's way up high. So the other part that I love about using three commas are the bots. So let me go ahead and open up a bot right now to show you exactly the bits and pieces that I'm talking about. So when I'm talking about all the options available over here on the DCA bot section, it's in the advanced DCA bot. So I'm looking at the TBD signals bot. You can add a ton of trading pairs. I don't recommend doing that. I'm just used to seeing all these um, details here for your safety order spread, for um, enabling how many safeties, safety trades you want, all your advanced settings, all that fun stuff, as well as having the chart and the table view so that way you can visualize what it's gonna do. Now, to be honest, I'm used to seeing this so much and we also have this available in the DCA Backtester tool that we offer uh, with the Better Traders Club subscription. So that, that trading view strategy will have all of these features in there, even the deal start conditions, except for the proprietary ones like TBT signals, top 10 signals, DeFi. But um, I just love this view. It's really easy to set up. It makes sense to me, it flows, but I get a lot of you don't understand it at the same time. So that, that's fine. The other thing that I really like about their bots is the granularity of control over all of this stuff down here. So all of these messages here in blue are all hyperlinks, meaning that I can tell my bot via webhook to do any of these things, which is great. Or even I could start all long bots or stop all long bots on the account. Like it's crazy. There, there's so much information on here that I love. And again, another thing I forgot to even mention is the history. I love being able to download and analyze my bot history for all of my signals because this gives me a much clearer understanding of how my bots are performing and how to analyze the data to get more information. Now I can see stats like this that are similar on both PyNX and AllTrade, but again, three commas just does it a little bit better. All right, the next one I wanna talk about is Pionex. Pionex has been popping up on this YouTube channel and on my socials and things like that more recently. Uh, but I've been playing with Pionex since late last year. The reason I like Pionex is its ease of use, its simplicity, and the fact that it's pretty safe. Um, it's not as safe as all trading, in my opinion. All trading safety measures are crazy, but again, I'm getting ahead of myself, but I like PyNX for how simple it is. And you just want like a bot preset, whether the strategy is for bullish conditions, bearish conditions, sideways conditions, like PyNX makes it super easy to just do a one stop shop where you just click a bot and you let it go. Um, another nice thing about PyNX, like I said, security is that because PyNX is its own exchange, you actually don't need to create an API key, which is a requirement if you're using three commas or all trade or pretty much everything else. Now there are other trading platforms that are essentially an exchange as well, that they're part of the Binance broker program. But I actually had a rep from Pionex fly out to meet me in Tokyo and he shared how Pionex is actually moving away from the Binance broker program to become their real legit exchange, which is exciting for them. And also that will set them apart from a lot of other trading or other crypto exchanges and trading platforms because they're offering all those services in one. That's another thing that I like about Pinex. So the first things I think about when I think about Pinex is that it's super duper um, user friendly to use. It's very safe because there's no API keys involved and it's basically an exchange and a trading platform all wrapped into one. Let me just show you a couple of things that I like on Pinex that I just mentioned, but I really just wanna show you on the screen. All right, coming over here to the screen to look at PyNX. So when you log into PyNX, it's gonna feel a little bit different than three commas and all trading. That's because each trading platform is gonna be different. Some things that I really like about using PyNX though is just pre being presented with this screen, it's really similar to what it looks like when you log into like Binance.com or Binance.us or when you're on the advanced view. So right here, I get all the information about the chart, the volume, how much that volume is in USDT, which I love to see because I need to know how much volume was traded in the last 24 hours or even a running, um, the running volume. But again, we have the TBT base to quote currency converter. Um, so that way it tells us the volume on trading view. But anyway, we're gonna talk about this for now. Some other things that are really nice about this is that you can make picks, which are basically your, your watch list. So you can start things just uh, pick successfully. Um, you can 
build your watch list basically just like you can on three commas where you star things. So I go to my picks and I can see, oh, how are these charts doing that I picked? I can see, oh, are, has anything changed with them? I can just check back with them, which is great. It's really handy to have this watch list, again, similar to three commas. But I like how this is just nice and simple. I, I get all the tokens. I can filter it by the change in price. I can look at all the leverage tokens. They're all sorted by market, which is great. So if I want to see, well, what's happening with SNX, then I can check out the chart. I can place my trade right here, kind of. So this is one thing that I... I have a little bit of a difficult time using Pinex with is setting up active trading orders. Now to do that, I would have to go down here into their bots to find smart trade. So by doing this, I'm not able to see those trades placed exactly here like you can on three commas or all trading. So it's a little bit like looking back and forth to make sure that things are correct. But the same thing applies. It's it's still good. I actually have a smart trade right here. I'm waiting on it to close for YGG. Not really worried about it, um, but you can see down here, I have my bots and I also have, this one is actually a smart trade as it says. So these are my DCA Martingale bots for APE and also for BTC. So we're gonna go over though to check out the DCA bots just to see how simple this is. Actually, we'll go back over here. So when I wanna set up a DCA bot, then you have two options, a simple mode or composite mode. So basically one trading pair or many trading pairs. So if I wanna do the TBD signals, I would go to DIY or better yet, you just copy the link that's in the description below the video, add your coins from the list, which is great. And then you go ahead and choose your signal and TBT is there, but you need to make sure that you only use this, the trading pairs that we offer. But with all these other ones, look, here's QFL. QFL is also available on three commas, which is great. So we're gonna go back over here. So if you're not sure what to do, again, using, using an AI strategy works. So it's going to automatically analyze this chart based off of what's worked and it's going to just go plop, there we go, done. So if I wanna go back over here to simple mode for SNX, use AI and I can just put in some funds over here. I need to have at least this much based on these settings, but of course I can bring these over and I can choose how many safety orders I want to have. So that way I can use less funds. So if I have more funds, it's going to require rather more safety orders requires more funds, things like that. So this is a little bit more straightforward over here, but then it starts to get more and more difficult, quote unquote, to understand. But people that use three commas, DIY is going to be the place that you want to hang out. This is the most similar uh, in feel. So creating a bot super duper easy on Pinex. If I go over here to my account, go to my account settings, this is everything. Like it's great. You can see my um, 2FA is bound. Um, I have an encrypted password. It's all set to go. So now that you have this, like you're set to go, like it's great. So if you want to buy crypto, something I didn't even think about mentioning before, you can buy crypto directly from Pionex so long as you complete level two verification. Again, another bonus over here. Um, this little thing right here for API management, this is not for connecting Pinex to other exchanges. This is for getting access to the Pinex API to use it on your own system, to, make, to create your own trading system, your own strategy of how you want to access Pinex um, indirectly. So the other thing is that when I look at my total value over here, everything is here. Everything is set. Everything is fine. I can deposit. I can withdraw. All the funds that I have in my account are all right here. So it's really easy to get access to your funds, to withdraw. Again, it's essentially an exchange and a trading platform, both things that make it really simple to use. And the last one I want to talk to you about is all trading. All trading is a very, very unique trading platform because their focus revolves around a particular set of skills. So if you've ever wondered, what's that QFL deal start condition on three commas or now on Pinex, what's that signal QFL? It stands for quick fingers, Luke, and it's his base breaking strategy. So all trading took that strategy and figured out a way to wrap code around it, to send signals, to do a whole lot of stuff. So the thing that hit me right away when I started using all trading again, actually I used to use them a long time ago when they were the crypto base scanner and I've, I've watched their development, but when I logged in to check out their platform to see how things have changed, I was blown away. 
because it is basically the active trader's dream come true. So their interpretation of smart trade is more like Mensa trade, like boom, big brain trade, because they, the abilities that you have, or rather the tools available to you on all trading for setting up a custom smart trade order are crazy. You can create real presets, not like what three commas tried to do, but these are like real presets that you can have where it has these fixed targets for everything. You can create laddered orders, laddering buy, laddering sell, getting out of those orders. Of course, you can go right onto the screen to place these orders customize them. You can view your positions. So that's the first thing that really just popped out at me. The fact that you can see your trades on the chart that you get these beautiful drawings that you can save in it, just like on three commas and Pinex. But when it comes to active trading, you really need to keep up with your charting and it makes it super duper easy. Now, the other thing that I really like about all trading are their grid bots. Now I know that three commas has grid bots and I know that Pinex has grid bots too, but the truth is that I actually think all trading does it better. And it's weird because they're not really even a grid bot trading platform. That's not what they're known for. The other thing that I like about all trading, the thing I think of the most are these alerts. So they have the crypto based scanner alerts, uh, but they also have these other trading alerts that are great that you can customize like um, volatility alerts, um, charts that are moving up real fast or moving down real fast, like fat finger drops, things like that. You can have the alerts um, enabled or disabled depending when you're in front of your computer. Um, you also get the alerts pushed to your smartphone. So again, I'm telling you, all Trady is an active trader's paradise. It's great for doing passive trading too. And their DCA bots are coming along. They're really good. Um, but in my mind, the strength of all Trady lies in the active trading aspect of using it. Um, and again, the grid bots are great, but really it's super strong in active trading. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is security. All trading by far has the best crypto trading platform security I've ever seen. They have this amazing safety measure in place that um, even if someone gets access to all trading, your username and your password, and if they somehow get 2FA, they have an extra layer of security where essentially there's a trading password. Now it's similar to what KuCoin offers, except it's way better. Because on KuCoin, I think it's six digits, which could be broken. Theoretically, it could be broken relatively easy compared to Altrity, where they have five words. So these five words are almost like a seed phrase. And this is the only way that you can unlock trading if someone or even you logs into your account from a different device. The other thing I love about Altrity aside from the security features, um, is the fact that you can download their app onto your computer. So instead of just being on the web, you can actually just have it running on your computer like you would be running, I don't know, Final Cut Pro or even a browser. Now, what's the difference? Well, it's actually gonna run a little bit better if it's an app that's downloaded onto your computer instead of sharing resources as a browser window. And the, for the same reasons that TradingView has an app, all Trading has an app too. So let me just show you a couple of those things over on the screen for all Trading. All right, coming over here to all trading. When you log in on a new account, um, if you already have it installed on your phone or you have it installed on your computer, but you're logging in from a different location, even if you have your username and password and your 2FA code, you're not gonna be able to trade or execute any trades on all trading, which is what I love. This is great because right over here, you can see trading not available. So in order for me to do this, I have to hit activate device and I have to put in my five word password, which I'll do real quick just to show you a couple of the features that are available. So I have logged in to the app on my computer just because I wanna show you the difference. You just saw what it looked like on the browser and essentially it's the same thing, but there's a lot of information presented on the screen. So trust me, when I logged into All Trady, I looked at this and I was like, nope, <laughs> I just closed it because it's too much. It's too much information. But here's the thing that I, I just, spending time with the platform really helped me to understand it better. You can actually customize your layout any way you want it to. Right now it's switched to custom, but I could even go crazier with this and switch it to flexible and I can resize things. I can drag things around to show what I wanna see. I actually prefer it to be on the fixed layout. And over here on widgets, now I can hide stuff. If I don't need to see the base info, if I don't need to see my notes, if I don't need to see the um, 
the order book or the trades, like which I hid already, or if I just wanna collapse something to get more room, just like that, boom. So I love how customizable this is because again, it's, it's tailor fit to you as a trader. There's no one way that you have to use it. So you can focus on only seeing the content that is helpful to you, which I like a lot. So you're looking right now, I'm gonna open this back up. You're looking at an open position. So this position right here essentially is what three commas would call a smart trade. You'll notice something really interesting, by the way. I have eight take profit targets, really similar to what three commas offers, but you'll notice something different. See how this is 2%, 5, 8, 11, 13, 16. I didn't type that in. Um, I'll prove it to you. So I'm going to go ahead and find a new chart. Let's just look at Cody BNB just to pick something. So if I were to do this, and I have some BNB, not a lot, but some. So I can go ahead and place an order super duper quick. So I want to go ahead and place a limit order. And now I want to go ahead and put in my take profit order. And I'm going to use a scale. This is really cool. So I can come over here, look at the chart, find a scale. And of course I can use fixed prices um, as far as, sorry, fixed targets instead of a scale, but I really like doing this. So all I have to do is hit eight and then I can choose the distribution of my funds across all eight of those trades. So the price could be distributed between this high and this low linearly, exponentially, or using Fibonacci retracement lines, which is really cool. I can also change the size distribution. So right now it's equal 12%, 12%, 12%, and now it's linear. So this is really, really interesting because it's going to help me understand how my funds are being distributed and it's also going to affect my profit and loss projection. So I'm gonna go over here. It's not showing me anything. So I need to go ahead and put in some size so that way I see. So this part's really cool. So if I change the size scale from linear to equal, it was 57%, but now it says 44%. I can also change it to exponential. And now it's going to be making more profit because basically it's not selling anything at these two right here. So I could just go like this to six. Now I'm looking at 67%. And then I could also do a lot of like, there's so much that I can do with this. It's crazy. I could even do exponential reverse. So I sell most of it here at the bottom, but I'm not going to make as much like this is crazy. Over here in the stop loss section, you can also set this uh, protection right here to your average entry or follow take profit. So after each take profit target is reached a stop loss entry, I'm sorry, the stop loss price will move up to average entry. So price comes up here, takes profit, then stop gets moved up here. Price moves up here, takes profit, stop loss gets moved up to take profit one. And it just keeps trailing up. Like it's stuff like this just makes it like, whoa, I like this a lot. And the fact that I have this little glittery icon here, that's because I can save this as a real preset, give it a title, and then I can just apply it to every single chart. Like it's nutty how awesome this is. So I want to go back to the trade that I have right now for uh, rally just to show you what that looks like. So over here on Rally, I'm gonna change this to logarithmic so it's a little bit cleaner. So you can see I'm using this because I'm buying Rally and this is, I'm not trying to give away alpha, but this is a token that I identified in the Better Traders Club as a long-term hold. So as it's a long-term hold, I wanna make sure that I'm taking profit all the way up. So check this out. Because I'm expecting it to take a while, I also have these entries right here. I actually have laddered entries that's buying more if the price falls, which is awesome. So that way I can basically use DCA to average in my entry. I could use a stop loss, that's that's true. And I could even update my order to add a stop loss later. But like, it's insane the amount of flexibility I have here for placing active orders. Like this is a active traders dream come true platform. Okay. so. The customizability of Altrady is ridiculous. Using this, even though it looks overwhelming, don't worry, I got you. I'm gonna show you how to use this because it's legit crazy, but it gets crazier. Um, even like right here, looking at this token, if I like Rally a lot, I can actually create a new watch list 
and save it. And then I can filter by my pairs. I can come down here to my watch list and I can see, oh, I have another one. So let's go ahead and check on my favorite AB trading pair cor or cork chain, I think, BTC, which actually just pumped 62%. I mean, this is brilliant. So I didn't even get to the crazy part yet. So I told you about this. So there is a market scanner. I can go over here to finance. Um, I'm going to get rid of my tag here so I can see everything. So now I want to sort by craziness. So I'm going to search just on Binance. Um, I want to see everything that's had uh, rather sort by the change. So I can go quickly to XCM or NEM and I can see, wow, it's pumped like bigly, which is great. And I can also do the reverse BNX BUSD. This one is fallen 12%. So this would also help me to identify possible dips depending on the market, depending on what kind of market we're in, which is great. I can also sort by price. I can sort by market, which is really cool up here in the filters, but it gets better. Here, I can be alerted by all these bases that have been broken according to the um, base trading or rather base breaking strategy. And there's the quick scan feature. This one's crazy. I'm going to go ahead and just turn this one on for AB and it might get noisy, although I think I have volume turned off. So essentially what it's doing is I have this set up to let me know when prices are rising 50% or more in a 15 minute time frame interval on KuCoin's USDT market or dropping 15%. And again, it's going to alert me. And the cool thing is that these don't just run all the time. It's right here. It's the preset. So if I want to run this preset, I'm going to let it run. And then it's going to scan the 15 minute time frame to see if this is happening anywhere. And when markets are popping, this is like crazy. So you can filter this like you saw. You can filter by volume. You can filter by exchange and market. Like this is crazy. You can even basically blacklist um, markets and tokens in there. So you don't get notified about those like legit. Awesome. I didn't even mention alerts. I didn't even mention the base breaking strategy. So we need to go over here to bots. Okay, so I have a grid bot running right now on gas USDT just to test it out. One thing that I didn't even mention before is that they actually have a back tester. So I had this bot running uh, previously. I'm going to go over here to analytics and you're going to see how this bot has performed. So I ran this bot over here, session one, and it did extremely well. And then I changed a couple of things. So now it has session two. So now I can see profitability based off of this bot running. So this bot has been doing extremely well ever since it's been running. Um, like having stats like this is crazy. Like this is like overwhelming statistics. I love this because it helps me to make better decisions about how things are running. So let's go back to this, um, not the trades, over here, to the overview so you can see it. So you probably noticed this right away. I love how all Trady shows me everything on the chart. Like placing these arrows on here is really cool to me because that tells me how active my bot has been, especially if I wanna have a really tight um, range, tighter grid. So that way I can see all the activity to see how the bot's running. And if I need to modify or change things, I make a new iteration of this. And then I'm good to go. So again, this isn't like overwhelming, like 3 million percent, but for me doing absolutely nothing. And the fact that when this bot decides or rather the chart for gas USDT, if the price happens to pump up, it can follow it up and back down, going all the way, going all the way down. And it's still going to be generating profit. The possibilities with grid bot trading on all trading are mind blowing. And I'm so excited to dive deeper into this this year. My goal in this video was to help you understand what makes a really good trading platform. And to me, it comes down to a couple of things. It has to work for you. And it has to work for your trading style, your approach to trading, what are your goals in trading? But really, it should come down to the features that appeal to you. The real honest to God truth is that no platform is gonna be perfect for everybody. There are certain people that are watching this channel that love bot trading. So for the reasons that I laid out in this video, you might gravitate towards certain platforms, but some of you really like active trading, whether it's trend trading with the TBO, it's AB trading, it's like the QFL base breaking strategy, right? So 
you have to look at it like, well, what are you trying to get out of your trading? How much time do you have to trade? And how much time you have to trade also dictates the type of trading that you can do. Now, I know lots of people that AB trade and do active trading at night after work, but maybe you don't have energy or maybe you work crazy, crazy hours like I do and you just can't. So then you rely on bots. So there are lots of options, but really it depends on you. It depends on your budget. If you need something free like Pinex, or if you need something that's more robust in active trading features or passive trading features. So it's really up to you. So this comes back to you. I would love to know which trading platform out of these three that you like the most and give me a couple of reasons why in the comments section. And are there other trading platforms do you feel like I've missed? Now, again, I've looked at a lot of them really seriously. I've scheduled time to talk to those dev teams or just really dug into that white paper or logged in and tried to set things up, tried to figure it out. But again, I'm open to suggestions. I'm open to seeing what else is out there. So if you have a trading platform that you'd like me to check out, again, leave a comment down below this video and stay tuned for more videos coming out this year about three commas, about Pinex and also all trading. So until the next time, you know what to do. Stay awesome and stay in the green. Peace.